To create this design, you need to add a 24 volt cylinder. Then rotate it into 90 degree and S and X scale it along the X axis. Then shift it to duplicate it and rotate it into 90 degree. Then move it along the Z axis and give the right position. Try to match these edges like this. Then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 90 degree and move it along the Z axis. Now you need to select these three objects and shift Q use the boolean operation union. Then apply this boolean modifier and then delete this cutter object. You will get this kind of design. Select this top face and move it along the Z axis. Then control A apply the rotation and apply the scale. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x axis and then take the symmetry along the y axis. Then delete this part of the model. And now we have only this much part and we need to create topology for this. Use the knife tool and create cut along the z axis. Then create cut along the z axis. And then create cut along the y axis. Then select these words and merge at center, like this. Select this word and merge at here. Then select these words, merge at center. Select these words and merge at last. Then select this word and use the edge slide. Use the knife tool and create cut along the z axis. Then select this edge loop. And then control V and add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and shift factor should be one. Uncheck this loop slide option. Then select this word and use the edge slide. Then add one loop cut here and select these words and press J to connect them. Loop structure will be like this. You can see the loop structures. Then you can add one loop cut here and add one loop cut here. Then select these faces and delete them. And then hit Ctrl2 to add the sub modifier and shade smooth it. Add one loop cut here, one loop cut here. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry like this. I want a slant cut over here. So I will create that cut like this. Dissolve this edge loop. Select these faces and delete them. Select this each loop and press F to fill the gap. Take the symmetry, mesh and symmetrize. Dissolve this H loop. Select this H and press F to fill the gap and move it along the X axis. Then control B, add bevel on it. Like this. Then select this face, use the insert operation. Delete the face, select this H loop and then face grid fill. And turn on the simple blending. Select this H loops and control B, add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel like this. Then dissolve this H and use the insert operation. Then select this H loop, control B, add bevel on it. Then select this H loops and control B, add bevel on them. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. Then select these faces, control X to dissolve them. And then right click, breach faces. Then select this H loop and control B, add bevel on it. And then take the symmetry and add few loop cuts. Dissolve this edge loop and add two edge loop at here. Then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then control B to add bevel on it. And select this face, use the insert operation and delete this face. Select this edge loop and face grid fill. Adjust the offset. And turn on the simple blending. Select this H loop and control B, add bevel on them. Add two segment bevel like this and shade smooth it. And you will get this kind of design. You can see the form and you can see the topology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.